Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy series. So today I'm going to make a new video on osteoarthritis. It's uh, one of the commonest diseases in the world. Osteoarthritis is a degenerative disease and uh, it is common in about 50 years of age and there are several types the main types are primary and secondary and the secondary is usually due to uh, post-traumatic and uh, calcium pyrophosphate crystal deposition disease then secondary inflammatory arthritis and also due to hemochromatosis the common sites which can get affected are knee hip and hands there are cardinal radiological features for osteoarthritis those are joint space narrowing and uh, periarticular sclerosis or just articular sclerosis and osteophyte formation it's caused by newborn formation due to remodeling and subchondrous histogeoid formation in the end stages there's deformity in the joint there are several classifications of osteoarthritis. The one method is Kellgreen and Lawrence classification. It's mainly the X-ray based classification. And uh, so grade zero means normal. And grade one means doubtful joint space narrowing and possible osteophyte formation. In grade two, there are definite osteophytes and possible joint space narrowing. In grade 3, there's moderate multiple osteophyte uh, formation and there's definite joint space narrowing. In addition to that, sclerosis in the periarticular region or subchondral sclerosis and possible deformity, early deformity. Grade 4 is the most severe one. There are large multiple osteophyte formation and marked joint space narrowing and bone deformity or subluxations, dislocations can be there. Let's move to the important thing in the radiology med DC series. That's those are the imaging findings. So first, let's look at the X-rays. So this is the anteroposterior radiograph of knee joint in a skeletally mature patient. It's kind of a early disease. Here you can see marginal osteophyte formation in both the tibial and femoral articular surfaces. So in the in the knee, mainly the early involvement seen in the medial compartment of the knee joint you can see the subtle joint space narrowing and osteophyte formation there, there are no subluxations of the joint so no subchondral sclerosis so it's an again bilateral knee joints and posterior reviews in a skate and mature patient you can see medial joint space narrowing there are multiple osteophytes you can see and uh, the subtle sclerosis in this region subchondral sclerosis you can see here subchondral sclerosis no subluxations joint space narrowing also there it's kind of a stage 3 disease it's another one you can see both knee joints center of post reviews you can see medial joint space narrowing few osteophyte formations you can see so yeah you can see the another osteophyte so it's another example for osteoarthritis it's another one you can see marked medial joint space narrowings here and uh, you can see osteophyte formations here you can see so it's another example for osteoarthritis this is the stage 4 kind of disease you can see deformity in the joint marker joint space narrowing almost the menisci absence and degeneration of the cartilage you can see large osteophyte formation the subchondral sclerosis so it's a kind of a stage 4 disease again the lateral view of the knee you can see osteophyte formation in the patella or in the there's involvement of the patella femoral joint you can see osteophyte formation yeah, there's osteochondroma so osteophyte formation you can see here and here so this is the hip joint 
so there's joint space narrowing in the hip joint and there are osteophyte formation few subchondroscleroses you can see so another example for osteoarthritis there are no erosions that's another important feature so it's the anthroposity graph of the hand you can see distal interphalangeal joint involvement you can see there's marked joint space narrowing in the distal interphalangeal joint metacarpophalangeal joints and proximal interphalangeal joints are relatively spared so this is the ct bone window of osteoarthritic patient you can see medial joint space narrowing subchondrosis you can see or geode the sclerosis subchondrosclerosis you can see few osteopite formation also there then let's look at the mris these are proton dense images you can see few osteopite formation it's also a kind of early disease so there are osteophyte formation it's another proton dense fat suppress image you can see osteophyte formation in this patient and subchondrosclerosis you can see due to low signal areas subchondrally it's again the proton dense fat suppress image you can see osteophyte formations and uh, joint space is relatively spared that's mainly the osteophyte formation so that uh, concludes osteoarthritis in radiology med ec series please subscribe our youtube channel then you'll get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this